So my last upload about pairing was a bit crap. And thank you for the comments to basically point out that I didn't introduce pair programming. And you're probably thinking, what is pair programming? And I'm going to try explaining it to you because it's my day-to-day -day thing to pair. But of course, previous to, to ThoughtWorks, and maybe like many of you, I was like an open source developer perhaps, and I was, you know, a lone wolf. <laughs> a lone wolf, is that the right term? You know, I was just doing my thing, exploring, installing Linux, doing stuff by myself, filing bugs, and maybe even making a patch and, and a pull request. And that's all well for a, a low trust environment of open source. But the context of pair programming, and, and you, that, that's the re really important thing, the business world, the enterprise world, where you have a business requirement and you need to form a team to deliver that software feature or do that thing, right? Because an open source, it's not the same as what would happen in a big company. The key thing about working as a team is that you don't want that one person to do all the heavy lifting, right? You want to, you want code ownership. You want to share knowledge because ultimately, what is software engineering? It's like, it's about learning things together. And the important thing is that it's not um, a zero sum game. It's a positive sum game when you're all sharing knowledge, learning together, showcasing what you've done and, and uh, coming to a sort of a common solution. It's not like a lowest combinator thing. It's like you, your experiences will build up on, on each other and you will del deliver a better product. Okay, so what is pairing in practice? Pairing means that you work on the same computer, same keyboard, if you were in person, which you, we are rarely nowadays, but like you use something like VS Code Live Share, or you can use something like Teammate, where you share um, a console. And the idea is that you both collaboratively work on some code together. So one person usually drives it and the navigator is the one that sort of like watches the screen and and sort of sounds out what, what needs to happen. I'll link to a video with all the anti-patterns anti because you can just imagine like one's if this person hogs the keyboard, one's if this person doesn't contribute or something like that. Those are anti-patterns. A good pairing is an incredibly difficult skill to to sort of surmount, but once you do pair properly, once you are, are a team player, if you will, is it's an amazing experience. It's it's what I I kind of live for in nowadays because I'm really keen to see people uh, grow, and I'm keen to share um, my, my skills and my my tricks and workflows, and I'm also keen to to learn how other people do their things too. So. I'm a big fan. It's like this whole, it's like the YouTube experience. Like I'm uploading videos. Sometimes they're kind of, you know, half-baked ideas. And then I get feedback from you saying that I'm being dumb and I could have done that better or something like that. And I'm, I'm all for it. But if you're not like used to, um, you know, being vulnerable, it, it can be really difficult to pair. So it's, it is kind of a foreign thing and, it, and it's a lot to wrap around your head, head around. But the benefits, the benefits, oh my goodness, the benefits in my uh, relative experience is, is amazing. You get code ownership, you, you know, the whole team kind of knows what they're doing because they've all kind of touched the same code together. You get, um, you get better quality code because like you can, you can, you know, you have four eyes on, on the, the thing. I started talking about open source, how you do a pull request. That, that's a low trust environment. When you're working with somebody on some software, you want to make, the, you, you want to have a fast iterations. You don't want to set up pull requests and wait for someone to, you know, the benevolent dictator to, to review your patch. The cool thing about pairing is that you don't have to go through this review pay, uh, process of, of a pull request. You can just merge, 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 immediately and get things done quicker because you got the code review by default. You avoid pull requests, you go faster. So I hope you'll give pairing a try and, that, and, and at least you know what it is. I think it's a, a very good idea in my personal relative experience. I see it being a fundamental uh, pillar of what I do at my workplace. And I hope you uh, keep it open mind and give it a try. It's not easy. You'll probably make mistakes. You'll probably have bad experiences, but in the long term, this is how 
you build a high performing team using pairing is a fun as a fundamental part of getting there please like the video please subscribe for more see ya good night oh i'm tired